Lecture 12. Academic writing. Relative pronouns as objects of prepositions. Fourth year. Objectives of the lecture. Identify relative pronouns as objects of prepositions. Clarify relative pronouns as objects of prepositions. Define adjective clauses of time and place. Plan. Relative pronouns as objects of prepositions. Relative pronouns and phrases of quantity and quality. Adjective clauses of time and place. An adjective clause is a dependent clause that functions as an adjective. That is, it modifies, gives more information about a noun or pronoun. For example, everyone who studied for the exam passed it easily. The award that Mary received was for his volunteer work. In the first sentence, which took place in 1621, is an adjective clause that gives more information about the noun phrase, the first Thanksgiving feast in the United States. The noun phrase is called the antecedent of the adjective clause. This noun phrase is called the antecedent of the adjective clause. Adjective clauses are one way to improve your writing style because they use subordination to connect ideas. Subordination rather than coordination, using lots of ends and buts to connect ideas, is a mark of a major writing style. However, take care not to use too many adjective clauses. A paragraph or essay that is filled with too many who's and which is, is not good either. An adjective clause begins with a relative pronoun or relative adverb. Pronouns who, whom, whose, that refer to people. Adverbs when, where refer to a time or a place. To avoid confusion, an adjective clause should come right after its antecedent. Confusing. He left the gift in his friend's car that he had just bought. It is not clear whether the adjective clause modifies car or gift. Corrected. He left the gift that he had just bought in his friend's car. The adjective clause clearly modifies gift. In the following examples, notice that the adjective clause comes immediately. After the antecedent, scientists, no matter where scientists appear, in the sentence. Scientists who study fossils are called paleontologists. The government awards large contrasts each year to scientists who do research for the government. Occasionally, other words may come between the antecedent and the adjective clause. Recently, a friend of mine at the University of Toronto, who is majoring in electrical engineering, received a government grant to study airport runway lighting. Yesterday, I spent an hour in the library reading the article from Scientific American that the instructor had put on reserve. An adjective clause modifies an entire sentence. In this case, It comes at the end of the sentence. The relative pronoun is always which and the clause is always non-restrictive. The team won the championship which shocked the opponents. The verb in an adjective clause agrees in number with its antecedent. Compare these two sentences. An employee who works part-time usually receives no benefits. The verb works is similar to agree with the antecedent employee. Employees who work part-time is usually receive no benefits. The verb work is plural to agree with the plural antecedent employees. Punctuation of adjective clauses. 
Adjective clauses are either restrictive, necessary, or non-restrictive, unnecessary. A restrictive clause is necessary because it identifies is its antecedent for the reader. Do not use commas with restrictive clauses. A non-restrictive clause is not necessary to identify its antecedent. It merely gives the reader some extra information about it. Because you can omit a non-restrictive clause without loss of meaning, separate it from the rest of the sentence with commas. The relative pronoun that is used in restrictive clauses only, which is used in non-restrictive clauses only. The other relative pronouns and adverbs can be used in both restrictive and non-restrictive clauses. Restrictive, necessary, no commas. The professor who teaches my biology class won a Nobel Prize two years ago. Which professor won a Nobel Prize two years ago? The clause who teaches my biology class is necessary to identify the professor. He won the prize for research that might lead to a cure for AIDS. For which research did he win the prize? We need the clause that might lead to a cure for AIDS to tell us. Non-restrictive, unnecessary, commas. Professor Jones, who teaches my biology class, won a Nobel Prize two years ago. The person who won a Nobel Prize is identified by his name. So the clause who teaches my biology class is extra and necessary information about Professor Jones. If it were omitted, we would still know which person won the Nobel Prize. He won the prize for his research into the structure of T-cells, which might lead to a cure for AIDS. We already know which research he won the prize for, his research into the structure of T-cells. The information, which might lead to a cure for AIDS, is not necessary to identify the research. It merely gives us extra information about There are different types of adjective clothes. In each different type, the relative pronoun has a different function. It may be a subject or an object in its, in its own clothes. Or it may replace a possessive word. A relative pronoun can be the subject of its own clause, who, which, that. American football, which is the most popular sport in the United States, began at Howard University. In this pattern, who, which, and that can be either singular or plural. Make the verb agree with the antecedent. I have not read the magazine that is lying on the coffee table. The verb is lying is singular to agree with a singular antecedent magazine. I have not read the magazines that are lying on the coffee table. The verb are lying is plural to agree with the plural antecedent magazines. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing a subject pattern adjective clause for people. For example, restrictive, who, that. People save time and energy. They use microwave ovens. People who use microwave ovens save time and energy. People that use microwave ovens save time and energy. Informal. Non-restrictive who. Microwave cooking is not popular with most professional chefs. Professional chefs say that cooking does not allow flavors to blend. Microwave cooking is not popular with most professional chefs, who say that fast cooking does not allow flavors to blend. For animals and things, restrictive that ovens are capable of cooking food quickly. They use microwave energy. Ovens that use microwave energy are capable of cooking foods quickly. Non-restrictive, which an electron tube in the oven produces microwaves. Microwaves cook by agitating the water molecules in food. 
An electron tube in the oven produces microwaves which cook by agitating the water molecules in food. A relative pronoun can be an object in its own clause. Object relative pronoun. Whom, which, that. The address that he gave me incorrect. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing an object pattern adjective clause for people restrictive whom, that. The professor is chair of the English department. You should see the professor. The professor whom you should see is chair of the English department. The professor that you should see is chair of the English department. Informal. The professor you should see is chair of the English department. Non-restrictive. Whom? Dr. White is an ecologist. You met Dr. Wife in my office. White, whom you met in my office, is an ecologist. For animal and things. Restrictive. That. The book was written in German. The professor translated the book. The book that the professor translated was written in German. The book the professor translated was written in German. Non-restrictive. Which? Environmental science is one of the most popular courses in the college. Dr. White teaches environmental science. Environmental science, which Dr. White teaches, is one of the most popular courses in the college. Possessive adjective clothes. Possessive adjective clothes, the relative pronoun who replaces a possessive word such as Mary's, his, our, their, the company's, or its. Possessive adjective clothes can follow the subject or the object pattern. In the subject pattern, the whose plus noun phrase is the subject of the adjective clause. In the object pattern, the whose plus noun phrase is the object in the adjective clause. Notes. Some writers feel that whose should be used to refer only to people. For animals and things, they recommend using of which. Compare. I returned the book whose cover was torn. I returned the book the cover of which was torn. Other writers use whose in all but the most formal writing, such as legal documents. You have learned that the verb is in an adjective clause agrees with the antecedent. The student who is working alone is a friend of mine. The students who are working together are also friends of mine. Now learn the exception. When, whose plus noun is the subject of an adjective clause. The verb agrees with that noun. She takes care of two children whose mother works at night. The verb work is plural to agree with parents. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing a subject pattern possessive adjective clause. Restrictive whose. Opportunities are increasing for graduates. Degrees are in computer engineering. Opportunities are increasing for graduates whose degrees are in computer engineering. Non-restrictive, whose? Santa Claus is a symbol of Christmas gift giving. His jolly figure appears everywhere during the Christmas season. Santa Claus, whose jolly figure appears everywhere during the Christmas season, is a symbol of Christmas gift giving. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing an object pattern possessive adjective clause. Restrictive. Whose? The citizens protested. The government had confiscated their property. Citizens whose property the government had confiscated protested. Non-restrictive whose? Consumer Reports magazine publishes comparative evaluations of all kinds of products. Shoppers trust the magazine's research. Consumer Reports, whose research shopper trust, publishes comparative evaluations of all kinds of products.
So, relative pronouns as objects of prepositions. Objective relative pronoun whom, which, that. The address to which I sent my application was incorrect. These adjective clothes are formed in two ways, the formal way and the informal way. In the formal way, the preposition and relative pronoun are together at the beginning of the clause. For whom I did a favor, with whom I shared a secret, to which I sent my application, in which the gift was wrapped. In the informal way, the pronoun comes at the beginning and the preposition at the end of the clause. Whom I did a favor for, whom I shared a secret with, which I sent my application to, that the gift was wrapped in. When should you use the informal way and when should you use the formal way? In all but the most formal writing, master's thesis, PhD dissertations, legal documents or business reports, for example. The informal pattern is probably acceptable. English has no academic or governmental authority that issues rules about correctness. Tendence vary. In your classes, some teachers will require you for, to write only formal English, while others will accept informal usage. Always ask if you are not sure. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing an adjective clause. Sentence A is formal. All of the B sentences are informal. Restrictive whom that restrictive whom that no one had read the book. He quoted from the book. A. No one had read from the book from which he quoted. B. No one had read the book which he quoted from. No one had read the book that he quoted from. No one had read the book he quoted from. Non-restrictive which. The president's scholarship was awarded to someone else. John had applied for the president's scholarship. A. The president's scholarship for which John had applied was awarded to someone else. The president's scholarship which John had applied for was awarded to someone else. A relative pronoun can occur in phrases of quantity and quality, each of which, both of which, etc. He gave two answers, both of which were correct. The top students, all of whom graduated with honors, received scholarships. Quality relative pronouns, the best of whom, the oldest of whom, the most important of which, etc. She has three daughters, the oldest of whom is studying abroad. The comedian's joke, the funniest of which I had heard before, were about politics. These adjective clothes can follow either the subject or the object pattern, and they are always non-restrictive. That is, they are always used with commas. The following examples show you how to combine two sentences to make a new sentence containing an adjective clause with an expression of quantity or quality. Note that the relative pronoun is always of whom or of which, non-restrictive of whom. The citizens of Puerto Rico are well educated, 90% of them of whom are literate. Non-restrictive of which, there are many delicious tropical fruits in Puerto Rico. I have never of which tasted most of them before. There are many delicious tropical fruits, most of which I have never tasted before. Adjective clothes of time and place. Adjective clothes can also be introduced by the relative adverbs when and where. When, where Ramadan is the month when devout Muslims fast. These clothes refer to a time or a place, and they can be restrictive or non-restrictive. In the following examples, notice how when and where replace entire prepositional phrases, such as during that night and in Berlin. So, 
These are the important points covered in this lecture. An adjective clause is a dependent clause that functions as an adjective. That is, it gives more information about a noun or pronoun in the independent clause. The modified noun or pronoun is called the antecedent. An adjective clause begins with a relative pronoun or a relative adverb. Place an adjective clause after its antecedent and as close to it as possible to avoid confusion of meaning. The verb in an adjective clause should agree in number with its antecedent. Adjective clauses are either restrictive, necessary or non-restrictive, unnecessary. Add commas before and after non-restrictive clauses. So, questions. What does an adjective clause modify? Everyone who studied for an exam passed it easily. The award that Mario received was for his volunteer work. What is adjective clause in the second sentence? What is the antecedent? In, is the antecedent a noun or a pronoun? What is the adjective clause in the third sentence? What is the antecedent? And sources you can use in order to prepare the practical lessons.